The Majirtin Sultanate Somali, Sultanata Majirtin, Arabic, Slautant Murtin also known as Majirtinia and Migwirtinia, was a Somali kingdom centered in the Horn of Africa. Ruled by Bokor Osman Muhammad during its Golden Age, the Sultanate controlled much of northern and central Somalia in the 19th and early 20th centuries. The polity had all of the organs of an integrated modern state and maintained a robust trading network. It also entered into treaties with foreign powers and exerted strong centralized authority on the domestic front. Much of the Sultanate's former domain is today coextensive with the autonomous Puntland region in northeastern Somalia. History Establishment <inaudible> 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 According to the 16th century explorer Leo Africanus, the Adal Sultanate's realm encompassed the geographical area between the Bab el Mandeb and Cape Gardafui. It was thus flanked to the south by the Ajuran Empire and to the west by the Abyssinian Empire. After Adal's demise, the Majirdin Sultanate was established around 1800 by Somalis from the Majirdin Darad clan. It reached prominence during the 19th century, under the reign of the resourceful Bokor King Osman Muhammad. Majirtin British Agreement Due to consistent ship crashes along the northeastern Cape Gardafui headland, Bokor Osman's kingdom entered into an informal agreement with Britain, wherein the British agreed to pay the king annual subsidies to protect shipwrecked British crews and guard wrecks against plunder. The agreement, however, remained unratified, as the British feared that doing so would give other powers a precedent for making agreements with the Somalis, who seemed ready to enter into relations with all comers." <inaudible> Sultanate of Hobio Osman Muhammad's kingdom was under attack in the mid-19th century due to a power struggle between himself and his ambitious cousin, Yusuf Ali Kenadid. After almost five years of battle, the young upstart was terribly defeated and finally forced into exile in Yemen. A decade later, in the 1870s, Kenadid returned from the Arabian Peninsula with a band of Hadrami musketeers and a group of devoted lieutenants. With their assistance along with aid and weaponry from Bokor Osman, he managed to overpower the local Hawiya clans and establish the separate Sultanate of Hobio in 1878. Majirtin Italian treaties In late 1889, Bokor Osman entered into a treaty with Italy, making his kingdom a protectorate known as Italian Somaliland. His nephew and rival Sultan Kenadid had signed a similar agreement vis-à-vis -vis his own Sultanate of Hobio the year before. Both Bokor Osman and Sultan Kenadid had entered into the protectorate treaties to advance their own expansionist goals, with Sultan Kenadid looking to use Italy's support in his ongoing power struggle with Bokor Osman over the Majirdin Sultanate, as well as in a separate conflict with the Omani Sultan of Zanzibar over an area to the north of Warshik. In signing the agreements, the rulers also hoped to exploit the rival objectives of the European imperial powers so as to more effectively assure the continued independence of their territories. The terms of each treaty specified that Italy was to steer clear of any interference in the Sultanate's respective administrations. In return for Italian arms and an annual subsidy, the Sultans conceded to a minimum of oversight and economic concessions. The Italians also agreed to dispatch a few ambassadors to promote both the Sultanates and their own interests. The new protectorates were thereafter managed by Vincenzo Filinardi through a chartered company. An Anglo-Italian border protocol was later signed on 5 May 1894, followed by an agreement in 1906 between Cavalier Pestalozza and General Swain acknowledging that Baron fell under the Majirdin Sultanate's administration. With the gradual extension into northern Somalia of Italian colonial rule, both kingdoms were eventually annexed in the early 20th century. However, unlike the southern territories, the northern sultanates were not subject to direct rule due to the earlier treaties they had signed with the Italians. Administration Bureaucracy 
As with the Sultanate of Hobio, the Majirdin Sultanate exerted a strong centralized authority during its existence, and possessed all of the organs and trappings of an integrated modern state, a functioning bureaucracy, a hereditary nobility, titled aristocrats, a state flag, as well as a professional army. Both sultanates also maintained written records of their activities, which still exist. The Majirdin Sultanate's main capital was at Alula, with its seasonal headquarters at Bargol. It likewise had a number of castles and forts in various areas within its realm, including a fortress at Mercano. The Majirdin Sultanate's ruler, however, commanded more power than was typical of other Somali leaders during the period. As the primus inter pares, Bokor Osman taxed the harvest of aromatic trees and pearl fishing along the seaboard. He retained prior rights on goods obtained from shipwrecks on the coast. The Sultanate also exerted authority over the control of woodland and pastureland, and imposed both land and stock taxes. <laughs> Commerce In the early 19th century, Somali seamen on the northern coast barred entry to their ports, while engaging in trade with Aden and Mocha in adjacent Yemen using their own vessels, according to official reports from 1924 commissioned by the Reggio Governo della Somalia Italiana, the Majirdin Sultanate maintained robust commercial activities before the Italian occupation of the following year. The Sultanate reportedly exported 1,056,400 Indian rupees IR worth of commodities, 60% of which came from the sale of frankincense and other gums. Fish and other sea products sold for a total value of 250,000 IR, roughly equivalent to 20% of the Sultanate's aggregate exports. The remaining export proceeds came from livestock, with the export list of 1924 consisting of 16 items. Topic. Military In addition to a strong civil administration, the Majirdin Sultanate maintained a regular army. Besides protecting the polity from both external and internal threats, military officials were tasked with carrying out the king's instructions. The latter included tax collection, which typically came in the form of the obligatory Muslim alms or seiko ordinarily tithed by Somalis to the poor and religious clerics wadads. Topic. Puntland Established in 1998, the autonomous Puntland region in northeastern Somalia now administers much of the former territories of the Majirdin Sultanate Topic. Sultans Rulers of the Majirdin Sultanate Topic. See also Osman Muhammad Yusuf Ali Kennedy Ali Yusuf Kennedy Sultanate of Hobio Mohammad Ali Shire Warsingali Sultanate Adal Sultanate Ajuran Sultanate List of Sunni Muslim dynasties List of Muslim empires and dynasties Topic Notes Topic. References Hess, Robert L. 1964. The Mad Mullah and Northern Somalia. The Journal of African History. 5-3, 415 15-33. doi, 10.1017 per seconds 0021853700005107. Issa Salwi, Abdusalam M. 1996. The Collapse of the Somali State, The Impact of the Colonial Legacy. London, Han Associates. ISBN 1874209911X. Sheikh Abdi, Abdi Abdulkadir Divine Madness, Muhammad Abdul Hassan Z Books. ISBN 0-86232-444-0. The Majirdin Sultanates Topic. External links The Majirdin Sultanates